hey guys welcome back to my channel called how to today i'll demonstrate how we can fix uh this virtualized intel vt uh x apt is not supported on the platform right so even when i was uh trying to run my uh couple of hosts on vmware workstation and when i was trying to power it on i was getting the same error right so uh, I, I just spent like you know a couple of hours to sort it out how we can fix this so let's 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 see how we can uh, like you know fix this issue right so uh, let's go with the problem first when I was trying to power on this virtual machine uh, probably I was getting this error uh, virtualized Intel VT is not supported right and continue with this and so yes and VMware workstation does not support nested virtualization on this host right so I I, I, I dig in deeper uh, on, the, on the way when tried all the solutions that I've found uh, so far uh, so uh, sharing all the steps uh, hopefully it will help you out right so first and foremost part you need to check is uh, go to your uh, uh, control panel and verify either uh, your if you are running any any hyper-v in, in your machine or not right if that is enabled then you need to make sure that that should be disabled okay so turn window features on, on and off uh, and go down and check if any um, Hyper-V is enabled over here, right? So make sure Windows Hypervisor platform should be disabled and additionally if you could see any Hyper-V folder over here that, that is checked mark and that should be disabled, right? Uncheck it and save it. So that's the first step you need to verify. If that's done, uh, what you need to check is okay if that is done even like now um, uh, on, on the community section I found a couple of links wherein uh, I tried with uh, running some sort of <coughs> commands to uh, disable the Hyper-V that is this one right so open the command prompt and run it as an administrator okay and copy and paste this right so just to forcefully off this hyper v if it is running right so uh try with this command right so it says successfully but even like you now when i tried back and forth uh going back to hyper v and like you now again running uh again try to power on this virtual machine but uh it's, it's not fixed again like you no know, i i just uh got the same same error okay uh so what i did uh additionally uh, to fix this out uh and and couple of like you know on on couple of uh web pages what i found was we need to uh disable the core isolation uh we need to disable we need to disable this memory integrity okay so click on windows security and uh go on device security and under core isolation click on core isolation details and if you could see this uh, memory integrity is turned on uh, and, and in couple of for a couple of users uh, like you know turning this off worked for them and even i i did try the same but as soon as i disable this and try to uh, power on the host uh, I was getting memory crash issue uh, my Windows 11 was getting crashed okay so again that didn't work for me but you guys can give a try and ultimately uh, the solution that I have got was the final that worked for me was uh, what you have to do is uh, click on this added virtual machine setting okay and go on processor and under this virtualization engine you need to off this you need to uncheck this box uh, virtualized intel pt and click on ok right and then try to power on the virtual machine right so this was the fix for me that worked 
and as soon as I did that, I didn't got any sort of uh, like you know those uh, errors, and I was able to run my host under this uh, VMware workstation, right? So I'm gonna paste the couple of links that I have got so far under the comment uh, under the description section. Um, probably you can just uh, like you know open the link and give it a try for the commands that uh, that I have just shown to you. Uh, but yeah, um, like that's how it's gonna be for me. So it, it's it's worked for me. Uh, so hopefully uh, this video will be informative for you and will be working for you as well. And do let me know like you know what command worked for you, what uh, what sort of like you know uh, which option did you try it and it was successfully uh, working for you. Okay. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was informative for you and see you until next time. Bye-bye.